Hi everyone, so I just finished filming this makeup look and I love it. I love the deep color lips. This is actually uh, Vamp It Up by Wet n Wild and then you'll see towards the end of the video I actually used black gel eyeliner to line my lips just because I wanted it to be really dark and dramatic. Oh, there is one thing I want to update you on. For the last year, I've had my YouTube channel for about a year and a couple months now, I've uploaded every Tuesday and Thursday. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this here on my channel, but I do have a full-time job and I have a part-time job and I do YouTube. So I'm very busy and I just started to feel like after a year that I was just pushing out videos because I had to get them out because I have this schedule. So I really wanna focus more on quality than quantity, if that makes sense. Not that I feel like my other videos that I've done in the last year are not quality. It just, I felt so stressed because I'm working a full-time job, a part-time job, and I love doing YouTube, and I just want every video I put out to be good quality. So hopefully that makes sense. So I've been sticking with the Tuesday, Thursday for the last year, and then these just last two months, I'm just getting a video up when I can get it up. So I'm going to choose a specific day of the week but I think for now, I'll just do one video a week. That way I can make sure it's a good quality video. I don't feel so stressed. But I'm just trying to figure out what day of the week. So I'll get back to you on that. Hopefully, of course, my ideal dream is to do this full time just because it's my passion. I love doing it. It's so fun. So when I get to that point, I hope to upload maybe three or four videos a week. But just for now, while I have all these jobs, I can't do everything and the boyfriend's calling so I'm gonna stop rambling let's jump into it all right so we're gonna start with brows as usual I'm using Anastasia dip brow pomade in ebony so I just start with a light hand of putting this all over the brow and then what I'll go in and do is I brush it through the brow hairs you really need very little of this just because it's so thick so pigmented so you'll see I put very little on the tail because that's where I tend to need the most filling in. And then I will go in and brush it in. And brushing it really helps to smooth out the product because as many of you probably know if you use this, the stuff is thick, it's pigmented, it gives you those powerful brows. So make sure you start with a little product, then brush it out. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I am just putting that under the brow bone to highlight and look at who woke up in the background, Mr. Coco. If you ever notice him, he is actually falling asleep sitting up. He is so lazy. All he does is sleep. I swear he would sleep all day if he could. It's funny. All right, now going in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love using this. I have to use it. You guys have heard me say this a million times. I have to use it because I'm very oily. My eyelids are even oily. So this just helps your eyelash, not your eyelash. This just helps your eyeshadow to stay on all day. I have tea time throughout my video. I usually edit it out, but I was just so enjoying this moment. I wanted to share it with you. This is one of my favorite mugs. It says, you make the difference. I really love that. I find it inspiring corny but inspiring so I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on remember we do this to have those really sharp lines to make it look like you're just a master of blending but little do people know that you're using tape all right so I'm gonna go into this wet n wild vinyl collection palette and I'm using that brown shade and I'm just lightly dusting it into the crease with my morphe blending brush and you can see I'm doing that very messily because we have the tape that makes it look like it's nice and neat Next, I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil, and this is in black, and we're using this as the base. I use the black one when I'm using dark colors and the white one when I'm using lighter colors, and I just really want them to pop. So you can see I'm being pretty messy here. Don't worry. We'll go back into the crease and blend it out to make sure that it blends with that brown crease color. Moving on to the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Now, I know this palette came out, I don't know, like a year, two years ago. I don't care. I love it. I love the colors. They're pigmented. They're soft. They're creamy. Just an awesome palette. Definitely worth the 54 bucks. So I took the purple shade and I put it all over the lid. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking this LA Color Shimmering Powder. Now, I do not suggest this. I got it from the Dollar Tree. It's like horrible. It's very powdery, it's not pigmented. I literally had to put half of the container on my eye because I wanted some sheen in the middle of the eye. And it did give that effect, but it's very light and it was just very powdery and messy. So you'll see I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pressed Pigment. And this one is in Black Grape. 
And you see, I just put on a little bit of that and look at how much shinier that is. It's just awesome. I love this MAC pressed pigment, highly suggest it. So I'm going to go back into the crease and blend again, going back into that Urban Decay palette. I'm not kidding, it has to be one of my favorite palettes of all time. I'm taking the silver color and I'm just highlighting the inner corner of the eye just to brighten it up, brighten it up and add some dimension. I love that palette. Moving on, I'm going to use this Star Looks Black Liner, and I'm going to be pretty dramatic with this winged liner. I actually got this, I think, in my Boxy Charm unboxing. I'll link that video down below. I really love this liner. I've been using it every day since I received it in the box. So you can see a little better here. I'm going pretty far out with that wing, just because I wanted this to be like a dark, vampy look, and I wanted it to be pretty thick. So what I do is I start off thin, I go all the way into the inner corner and then just thicken it out as I go. Next up, I'm going to do mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Mascara. I'm not going to show you this too much because I look crazy when I do this. <laughs> I popped on my favorite Ardell 107 lashes, and I'm going in with my Cover FX Primer, putting this all over the face. This is great if you suffer from oily skin or acne because it does have silicone salicylic acid in it, tongue twister, and it's great with breakouts. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. Sorry, getting a phone call per usual. And I'm using my MAC foundation brush. You can see I got some foundation in my hair. I'm just using that to put it all over the face. I've had this brush, I'm not kidding, for four years. And this brush is amazing, especially if you want an airbrush look without using an airbrush machine. I'm going to link it down below. Definitely check it out. I can't remember the name. I know it's a MAC brush, and I know it is not affordable. I believe it's $40 or $50 but it has lasted me for years and I just love the finish that it gives for applying foundation. So definitely check it out, I'll link it down below. Next up, I am going to use my LA Pro Girl Concealer and when I use this, I have, oh no, you know what? I'm using the e.l.f. concealer. I'm actually using the e.l.f. concealer. I did a full review on this concealer. I'll link that video down below. And what I do is I wear it all day and we see how it holds up throughout the day. I'm going to wet my beauty blender with some mattifying spray and I'm just going to blend that out. For some reason I thought it was the LA Girl, but then I saw the container. It's the e.l.f. one and I don't use this very often. So check out the review. I will link it down below. So I'm just putting that under the eyes to blend it out, make it look nice and highlighted. We're going to bake the face, just meaning I'm going to put the powder on top of the concealer and let it sit like you're baking a cake, but we're baking the face so that your concealer does not move. This is awesome if you have oily skin. It will hold it in place all day. That's why I'm smiling. So while that is baking, I'm going to contour the nose. I'm using my Black Opal Foundation Stick. I forgot to show it to you, so I'm going to show it to you here. I love this stuff, highly recommend it. It's awesome for all skin tones, all skin types. Oh look, Mr. Coco decided to wake up. <laughs> so I'm just gonna contour the nose and I use my fingers to blend that out. Honestly, this is my favorite way to blend out the nose contour because the heat from your fingers really just seamlessly blends out the makeup. Now that the face has baked, we're gonna just blend that out, fix the hair. Actually, this is a wig. I'll link the details on that below. I love this wig, it's just one of my faves right now. Going with this Milani blush, I love this blush. It just adds a nice warmth to the skin. I actually featured this in my favorites. I'll link that down below. I'm pretty good about linking everything down below. So if you're looking for anything like details on the wig, products I'm using, videos I mentioned, check the description bar. Everything's always down there. Now I'm going in with this MAC Shimmer Powder, another product I've had from MAC for three years. I love this stuff. You need very little and it just adds a na nice natural shimmer and highlight. You can see I got a little too aggressive so I have to use my finger to really blend it out. Like look at that. It's very little and just look at that highlight. So just be careful if you do get this. So now I'm going in for the star of the show. My phone keeps ringing. I'm so sorry. I'm just so popular. Not. <laughs> so I'm going to line my lips with black gel liner. I'm using the e.l.f. black gel liner and I'm really overlining the lips here because I want my lips to look nice and thick and voluptuous because I have really tiny lips. Actually my bottom lip is okay but my top lip is so tiny. It's such a mess. So <laughs> I'm using actually gel liner because I did not have a dark lip liner and I am overlining the lips and I'm really focusing on um, 
Let's see. I'm really focusing on defining the cupid spell because also I don't really have a defined cupid spell. Now what I'm doing here is I'm filling it in because I want it to be really dark. So I'm filling in the inner corners with black before I go in with the wet and wild lipstick. This is one of my favorite drugstore dark lipsticks. It's called Vamp It Up and I'm just going to put it Fill it in basically where there's not black and then pierce the lips together so that it, everything is blended. So this just makes the lipstick look very dark purple, almost black. I just feel like it adds the perfect finishing touch to the look. And I wanted some shimmer to add like a bit of shimmer just to the middle of the lips. So I'm using that horrible LA Pro powder and you see how many times I have to keep going back. I mean, if you don't mind going back and forth, back and forth, it's okay, but it's just too much you have to use. This is the finished look. Hopefully you enjoy. Everything is linked down below. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.